hugely ambitious project in its scale, but it has not let us down. All the games so far, so competitive, a major event on the world stage now. No side for Paris Saint-Germain, Trapp gets his chance to stake a claim. Senior men like Kozawa, Verratti and Di Maria are involved to give a steer to the young players on this tour. Timothy Weir has in some of the players already. As for Atletico, Antonio Dan, the new goalkeeper signed from Real Betis, was the star of the shootout win against Arsenal. Three youngsters in the back four. Rodri Hernandez, another new signing, gets another chance in the centre of midfield. And it's Gamero and Vieto up front. In his own right, lest we forget, great five years at Real Betis. Dima is taking it. Adan not fooled by that. And Kunku let it run. Gamero kept going. Very strong over the ball. Good piece of work by Trapp. He's had to watch and wait on this tour so far, Kevin Trapp, but centre-backs. He's got to persuade these big-name players that it's the right way to go. No sell so. All worked for PSG, among all these stellar names. Doesn't play much in the first team. Moving well again, Gamero, they've caught Roman out here. Kevin Gamero has been denied once by Trapp. Beats himself there, lifts it over the crossbar. It took an age, in fact, to get the shot away. Pitch perhaps not helping him. One back by Verratti, that's what he's so good at. Puts Piesci on the front foot here. Rodri Hernandez just steers it to safety. Di Maria, he loves to volley them, and even that's not working out at the moment. Just shaking the rust off, I suppose. Rabiot, or Celso. Not sure he really believed he could curl it. Here's Kevin Riemann. Dagba outside him, needs a good cross. That was a good cross, and Kunku missed it. Might have been an arm, but it's gone in anyway, and Paris Saint-Germain pressure pays off, and Kunku turned it in. Poacher's instinct here from Nkunku, didn't wait around, slotted it home, and uh, first time really that Atletico have been a bit sloppy in defence. Just reacted quickest, adding to the goal he got against Arsenal. Tuchel needs a win here, and they've gone about it in the right fashion. Just the six yellows last season. Hernandez still off the line, it's a brilliant... Here we are, Rodri Hernandez here, he got away from Diara. Vieto, he should score, simple as. It wasn't the uh, best of cutbacks initially from Gamero, then Rodri took a bad touch. Almost like they were uh, passing it in, or trying to pass it in, and it wasn't a very good contact there from Vieto. With all the credit. Trump has a man on both posts here. Well struck, and that's uh, sharp from Moya from a long way out, but equally sharp by Trapp. A very good strike through a crowd of bodies, but uh, I think Trapp had a good view of it. Not quite in the corner either. Kept going. Vieto got the call, and it's fizzed back across the face of goal. Bit unlucky by changes the PSG made. Taken by Correa, outswinger. Over the top it goes. Rodri Hernandez was in there. 
what's perhaps going to be important. Possibilities again here for Atletico. Correa, just run off it. So lucky got a little touch on it. One to chase anyway. Adan waited and waited too long. It's gone wide, but is it a penalty or not? Do you think this should be a penalty if it doesn't go in the net? That's uh, an awkward one for the keeper. I think probably, yeah, he no, took I a think swipe. It has to be. He gets a yeah. touch to it, number one. He is taken out by the goalkeeper, number two. And, OK, it didn't hit the post, but had it hit the post... Now to Gomero. Correa. Good from him as well. Gomero, and it's straight at track. Not been his day, Kevin Gomero. Lovely ball through, he took it in a stride very well, but trying to hit it across track. Better from Simeone's men. Sagres made a burst on the outside, it goes to the right instead. It's a great ball, it's a very sharp stop, that by Adan. What a good hit by Weyer. And what a good start he's making. Got the uh, game intelligence as well. Actually interviewed him uh, at the end of the season and he was saying he needed to work on his finishing. That wasn't a bad effort at all, it was a good save. Playing with the French champions. Correa, Van Fran. Great pullback. It's gone wide. The bigger miss really was by Joaquin Munt. Well, how many chances do they need? Great play by one Fran, a good cutback as well. Vieto's got to do better. Munoz not connecting cleanly, and Vieto, I think it might have uh, taken a touch off trap. But it was the uh, first touch that let him down, perhaps. Opportunities for both of Vieto and Gamero, and perhaps that's putting it mildly. This young PSG side is starting to counter attack very threateningly. Look at this. Adam with another sharp save, and he might have another to make. Montero got the second block on, but they look mighty threatening now. Seen off by Bernard. Creating chance after chance here. The one two, Zagre doing well. What about this from Diaby? A little lucky, but uh, great skill, good effort on the follow-up. Zagre on his weaker foot and able to uh, find the net as well. But Diaby, well, he's really standing out in this second half. 19 years of age. He wasn't getting his chance at Lille. Stuttgart took a chance on him and promotion. Here goes way again. That might be costly. Diaby. Fantastic! Write the name down for the future. Paris Saint-Germain lead 2 0 and Weah and Diaby have carved Atletico apart. Moussa Diaby. Yeah, what a performance this has been, and he's not done yet. Got the goal he deserves, and it was a cracking finish as well. Putting the pressure on, forcing the mistake. Way up with the first time ball. Just two touches later, it was right in the corner. Diaby only turned 19 earlier this month. He looks ready. He cracked one against Adan's crossbar. Adan didn't see that one. And I don't think he saw this one either. Traps not getting to it, very lucky first time, it's a brilliant stop second time, but Malejo turned it in at the third time of asking. It's been that kind of day for Atletico, but eventually the ball goes in the net. Trap made all his own problems then. Probably on uh, balance, a deserved goal for Atletico in terms of the game as a whole, but one that certainly could have been avoided from PSG's point of view. Trap in no man's land. Well, he's 
a senior keeper. He's the uh, captain for the second half. He's got to lead by example. And Atletico punished him. You look at Tuchel, you look at uh, Domenico Tedesco at Schalke. Solano kept going. Right at trap and a bit fortunate PSG. Get more of it this time. Borja Gracias. And it's gone in, it's 2 2. Own goal, Paris Saint Germain complicit in their own downfall. Yeah, it's Antoine Bernet. There's the unfortunate man who's turned it beyond Kevin Trapp. And look at Simeone, delighted with the uh, comeback from his team. They were down and out. PSG all over them. But, uh, as ever with Atletico, they never say die. Again, you could maybe say that Trapp was on the move. But France have really tightened up in the last seven or eight years in my view as well is that, that France is Postolaki he's turned into space he hits it oh what a way to win it Virgilio Postolaki for sheer exuberance they deserve it look at the celebrations as well don't tell me these pre-season friendlies don't mean anything. Those PSG supporters are happy. And the players went wild after this one. Lovely turn on the edge of the area, and what a finish. Just when you were thinking, is he just a big man? Is he a threat in the air? Well, what an hand free kick. Got to use it quickly. They've run out of time. He didn't give them that opportunity. Postolaki has won it for Paris Saint-Germain. What a magnificent game of football.